What's up everybody? This is a quick demonstration video to show you how Blender can trim objects. Uh, the object you see on the left is just a cube. On the center is uh, my scan model with a pedestal added from Adobe Dimension. And then this shape here uh, is linked in your handout. This is the negative volume for the bobblehead. So what I'm going to do is try to trim off the bottom half of this with the cube and then I'm going to subtract this area and volume from um, the overall bust so that I can create a bobblehead. So the first thing I want to do is click on my object. I'm going to move it downward and then along this axis, just clicking and dragging. And I want to have, whoops, I'm going to click and drag with my center mouse button to rotate around my scene. I'm just going to overlap the shapes and I think I may have to include a little more of the chest. I think that would probably work for my bobblehead. I could go all the way up and chop the neck, but I think at this point I'm just gonna do a simple trim here. Now what you do is you click on the object that's going to be trimmed, and you go down to this little wrench icon in Blender. That will open something called the modifiers. The modifier we are looking for when we click on the drop menu is Boolean, and we want it to be set to difference and exact. Now, uh, we just have to choose, of the objects in the scene, the cube. So it shows all the objects that are in the scene. I'll go ahead and say cube. And then I'm going to go to this little drop menu next to the camera, and I'm going to ask it to apply. Now, it won't be obvious that the um, modifier has worked yet. What we have to do is then move this out of the way or even delete it. I'll hit the X button and tell it to delete. And then you can see the bottom half of the object has been trimmed. Okay, so our next step is we gotta then trim this from it. Now you never wanna resize this negative volume. It is already scaled perfectly uh, to work with the bobblehead setup that we have. So what we wanna do is increase the size of our object here. Now you might notice the transformation um, icons are all a little bit far away from the actual shape because it's still remembering when the shape was larger. So what I'm going to do is I'm right clicking and I'm going to choose to set the geometry to the origin and that's just going to move the center of the model down on top of our little manipulator for in this case the position and then I'm going to go over to the scale and I'm just going to grab the white circle and scale it up. Okay, again, central mouse button, the little wheel, I'm clicking and dragging on that. I might have made this a little too big, so I'll scale it down just a touch, and then I'm going to move it. So I grab the move tool, up in the air, spin around my scene, slide it on over, and I have to overlap them in such a way that I can then get my bobblehead working. I think I need to scale this up just a touch because if I were to trim it now, there'd be big giant holes in my model. So I'll go ahead and scale up, spin around, okay, and I may even move this up a touch. Right, let's see. I want to see the bottom of that object peeking out just a little bit. Okay. Then I'll move forward just a touch. Good. All right, the negative volume is no longer poking out except on the bottom, and that's kind of where I want it. So what I'm going to do is again, with my character or my face selected, I'm going back to the wrench and the modifier for Boolean. And I'm gonna choose this time, template negative volume. And I'm gonna do apply. And that will cut away the little hole so middle mouse button to spin around. Ooh, it didn't cut it. Or maybe it cut it and I can't see it yet. So let's move up and see if we have a hole in there. We do. Yay. All right. So now at this point, I can hit the X on my negative volume template. And I can then just select my model here. I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I'll just call it. Mr. H bobblehead, bobblehead, whatever. And I'm going to export as an STL file. And I'll just export it right to my desktop. Okay. 
and that way I'll be able to send it to the 3D printer to complete my bobblehead.